How's it going everybody? So today we're going to be doing a very simple tutorial. We're going to be finding the average sum from an array. Before we do begin, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into it. So for step one, I want you to create an array with any amount of numbers in it. This is where our numbers are going to be stored. I also want you to create another variable that is going to be responsible for helping us find the average number once we do all of our calculations. And I also want you to make a loop that will loop through our array. So go ahead and give yourselves at least 30 minutes and if you can't figure out no problem then go ahead and look at the hint but do try us out though. The hint for step one is that I want you to look up on the JavaScript documentation how to create loops, how to create arrays, and I also want you to look up the difference between let and const. Give yourselves at least 30 minutes if you can't figure out after this and go ahead and look at the solution. Hopefully you guys give it a try for at least 30 minutes and if you couldn't get it, no problem. Let's go ahead and walk through the solution right now. So first and foremost, we need to make an array. So I'm going to do const average array. And I'm going to put in numbers 69, 69, 69, 420, 20. I think those are pretty good numbers. And let we also need to create an, another variable that is going to grab our average, that is going to be set to our average array number once all the calculations are done. So let average array, let's call it num is equal to zero. Originally we're going to be set it to zero. And this is where the difference between const and let is very important. So const is a variable that is not going to be changing and let is going to be a variable that will change uh, due to some calculations or whatever. And let's go ahead and make a for loop. And do let i is equal to zero. i is less than average array dot length. If we do less than or equal to, then since the index number starts at zero and it will go up to zero, one, two, three, four, it'll go all the way up to four, five, five, one of those two. I can't remember, but anyways. Uh, and then I plus plus and let's do console.log average array of I and see what we get if we do node average. So for step two might be a little bit confusing, but I want you to add the average array index number to the average array sum and I want you to divide by the length of your array. Uh, there's a lot of weird terminology there but try to give your best try give yourself at least 30 minutes if you can't figure out no problem go ahead and look at the hint and if you can't figure out then go ahead and look at the solution the hint for step two is i want you to look up how to add and divide in javascript documentation give yourself at least 30 minutes and if you still can't figure out then go ahead and look at the solution all right so hopefully you guys gave it a try for at least 30 minutes if you couldn't get it no problem so what we have to do is we need to add to the average array sum so that would look like this average array num uh, plus equals average array index divided by the average array dot length and if we were to console log this if we were to console log average array num you would see that we would get our average number which is 20 209.4 now I do have a challenge for you guys where I want you to round this and I will explain that in the next clip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and you learned something new. I do have a challenge for you guys before I go. I want you to round the final average number. So if it is greater than 0.5, I want greater than or equal to 0.5, I want you to round up. If it is less than 0.5, then I want you to round down. And the solution will be in the description below, but I highly suggest you give it your best try to figure this out on your own. And like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.